Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial, this time on tags and filtering. So this has been a highly requested tutorial since we launched iMindMap 10, so I'm really glad they'll be able to break this down for you. You can see we have three branches, we've got blue, green and red, and each of these branches has the letters A, B and C coming off them. This will give us a really simple, basic example just so you can effectively see how tags work. So we're going to go open the Tags panel, which is in the top right on Mac, or on the right-hand side of the screen on Windows. And you can see we have a Categories section and a tag section. First thing you should do is create a new category. This is where your tags will be sorted into different orders. The first is Colors. We'll go ahead and create that. And this is where we're going to store the tags for our colors when we eventually create them. We'll do that by hitting the Add Tag button. For now, we'll create another category next to colors called letters. And this is where we'll store the letters A, B, and C when we create them as tags. So this allows you to differentiate your tags and keep things separate if you need to. We're going to add the blue tag, and then a green tag, and then finally a red tag by clicking the Add Tag button and typing in the name. And then we're going to skip over to the letters category and create the tags for A, B, and finally the letter C. And just like that, we've got all the tags we're going to need for this example. Now we're going to head back to the colors category and assign the blue tag to the blue branch. You see this little icon appear below it, which signals that you've successfully tagged your branch. And you'll see that on the right hand side with the little golden tag as well. Once you've tagged the branch, you'll be able to use the filter tool. By hitting the filter button, you'll see it turns on, and then by clicking the blue tag, everything that hasn't been tagged with the word blue disappears. So you can imagine how useful that's going to be on much bigger maps when you're looking for that one in particular thing. Make sure to turn filtering off whenever you're trying to assign more tags, as it will just attempt to keep searching for the tag rather than let you assign it. So now we've tagged the other branches with the appropriate colors. As we cycle through, green reveals green and red reveals red, just as we did with the blue branch. So we're going to skip through now to assigning the tags to the letters. And now we can filter these. And you see how you don't just get the final branch that's been tagged, you get the process that led you up to that point so that you can easily retrace your steps back to the central idea. So it's not just highlighting one single thing, it's giving you the process. And then here you can see how you can search for multiple things at once. It's not just one tag at a time, um, which can be very, very helpful when trying to broaden your search. The last thing we'll show you about tags is how they can work with images as well. So you see we have three images attached to the branches and by clicking A, the apple remains with the A branch. When we click B, the ball remains with the B branch on the blue. And then when we hit C, the candy remains on the C branch with green. And that's basically how tags work in iMindMap10, guys. Hope you found this useful. See you next time.